from the University of South Carolina. Your news, your sports, your weather. Carolina News begins now. Hello and welcome to the Carolina News Fastcast. I'm Kiana Miller. Our top story today, United States attorneys in Columbia announced today that nine individuals, including seven law enforcement officers, have been indicted in federal court in South Carolina on visa fraud and drug charges. If convicted, six of the nine individuals could face a maximum penalty of life in federal prison and the remaining three could face 10 years behind bars. A Midlands boy is faced with having a second open heart surgery within a year. 10-year-old L.J. Johnson is scheduled to have his surgery to re-prepare a leaky heart valve after his stitches failed. Johnson was born with a heart murmur, and after an arm injury, doctors discovered he had a hole in each of the four chambers of his heart. Johnson will have his surgery this spring, which should prevent him from needing another surgery for many years. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the family to help with expenses. Columbia Housing Authority's latest notification has left residents in confusion. The notification was sent to all residents regarding carbon monoxide detectors. The notification came as a follow-up to CHA's prior notifications asking residents to sign off on receiving equipment including a carbon monoxide detector. However, the notification was only intended for residents living in gas burning units. It's looking pretty nice outside today. Let's toss it to our weatherman, Scotty Gavlin, to see if it will continue into the weekend. Scotty? Thanks, Kiana. We're going to go ahead and look at our five-day forecast. Starting with Saturday, it's going to be a good pickup to the weekend. Um, around 79 degrees, low of 58 just a little cloudy. Uh, but then Sunday, there are going to be thunderstorms around 66 degrees, so it's not going to be as nice of a day. Put your rain jacket on. Moving forward to next week, we have Monday. It's going to be cloudy with a high 57, low of 39. Tuesday, again, low of 39. This time, though, rainy. So put the rain jacket back on. Then Wednesday, it's going to pick back up. 70, sunny, a good day. Now, back to you, Kiana, in the studio. Thanks, Scotty. Now looking to the national scene, Facebook has been accused of enabling house discrimination with some of its ads. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has charged Facebook with violating the Fair Housing Act. The accusation says that Facebook allows home sellers and landlords to choose who sees their ads based on religion, sex, race, disability, and other characteristics. President Trump has overridden a proposal to cut funding for the Special Olympics. This came after Education Secretary Betsy DeVos's proposed a $17.6 million budget cut for the Special Olympics. DeVos said she is glad that President Trump and her, quote, see eye to eye on this issue, end quote. DeVos has said that she had been fighting behind the scenes for Special Olympics funding. And in other Olympic news, the International Olympic Committee has officially added surfing, climbing, skateboarding, karate, baseball, and softball to the 2020 Olympic program. The 2020 Summer Olympics will take place in Tokyo. Switching over to local sports, March Madness continues this weekend as the Gamecock women's basketball team takes on Baylor this Saturday in the Sweet 16. The Gamecocks have a tough test as Coach Don Staley and company will face the number one team in the country in the Greensboro Regional. These teams faced earlier this season with Baylor picking up a 94-69 victory. Back here in Columbia this weekend, the Gamecock baseball team hosts a three-game series against the number 15th ranked Auburn Tigers starting tonight at Founders Park. Tonight's game begins at 7 p.m. with freshman pitcher Daniel Lloyd expecting to get the start on the mound. Saturday's game is scheduled for 1 p.m. and the series concludes Sunday at noon. And if you're in the mood for football, the Gamecocks announced the time for their annual Garnet and Black spring game next Saturday. The spring game will take place at noon at williams Bryce Stadium on April 6th. But before the game, former Gamecock players will take part in a flag football game starting at 11. Admission is free and gates will open at the stadium at 10.30 a.m. 
Finally for today's fast cast, opening day for the Columbia Fireflies is a week away and Segra Park has new menu items available to fans all season long. Mexican street corn, shrimp tacos, lamb euros, and chicharrones are new features at the stadium. Fans can try these out on opening day April 6th. That's all we have for you on the Carolina News Fastcast. Have a great weekend.